welcome back friends i am rajdeep acharya and today i am going to teaching you the charm layer theory so actually here is a pictorial view of the embryo from which endoderm ectoderm and mesoderm have been originated in further development of this endoderm we are seeing that the digestive system and the respiratory system have been originated from the endoderm and the endoderm have been originated from the embryo through the developmental process and in case of the mesoderm the mesoderm have been originated through the developmental process of this embryo and the mesoderm have been formed the muscular structure like muscle tendon ligament the skeletal structure like bones cartilage the circulatory structure like blood cells lymphatic vessels the excretory structure like kidney and nephrons the reproductive structure like testis ovary and in case of the ectoderm the ectoderm have been originated from the embryo through the developmental process and also in the further development of this ectoderm the ectoderm have been developed into the integumentary system like skin gland hair exoskeleton and the nervous system like brain nerves neuroglial cells so before going to the brief account of this ectoderm mesoderm and the endoderm we need to cover up the introductory part and the definition part to know the basic concept of this germ layer theory so the germ layer occasionally referred to as germinal epithelium is a group of cell formed during animal embryogenesis so actually the animal embryogenesis is a developmental process of embryo which occurs through spontaneous events of embryo in which actually occurs through so many developmental process and at the end of this process group of cells have been produced which are actually termed as germinal epithelium and this germinal epithelium are actually germ layer actually the germ actually the the fate of this germinal epithelium cell will decide and will differentiate the germinal epithelium cell to a particular germ layer cell like suppose a group of germinal epithelium cell the fate of this germinal epithelial epithelium cell give signal to this group that you just differentiate into endoderm and this germinal epithelium cell will differentiate into endoderm and another group of germinal epithelium cell also present the fate of this group give signal that you just differentiate into mesoderm and also this germinal epithelium will cells will differentiate into into mesoderm so the fate will decide that which germinal epithelium cell will differentiate into which germ layer now we will be talking about the definition part various part of the body arise from some germ layers in the different animal this concept of development is called a germ layer theory actually we have been talking about at the beginning we have been talking about endoderm mesoderm and ectoderm the endoderm in further development of this endoderm the digestive and the respiratory system have been originated in case of mesoderm the muscular the skeletal the circulatory the excretory and also the reproductive system have been originated and in case of ectoderm the integumentary system as well as nervous system have been originated so the integumentary system skeletal system circulatory system excretory system digestive system all are the parts all are the organ of our body which are functioning which are regulating our body and these organs are developed from some germ layers like endoderm mesoderm ectoderm so this is why various part of our body have been originated from some germ layers in different element this concept of development is called as germ layer theory now we will be talking about the distribution of germ layer in different animals like vertebrates have 
ectoderm, mesoderm, endoderm. The diploblastic animal, which are actually radially symmetrical, contain ectoderm and endoderm. The triploblastic animal, which are actually bilaterally symmetrical, also contain ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm. And here is a pictorial diagram where we can see the configuration of diploblastic and triploblastic animal. In case of diploblastic animal, there is ectoderm and endoderm, and in between, there is no additional layer. But in case of triploblastic animal, there is ectoderm and endoderm, and in between this ectoderm and endoderm, there is another additional layer, which is called as mesoderm, which is the prime difference between triploblastic animal and diploblastic animal, that tripl triploblastic animals are having mesoderm but diploblastic animal don't have mesoderm now we'll be talking about the endoderm the germ layer endoderm we, the endoderm is one of the germ layer formed during animal embryogenesis cells migrate inward along the archenteron form the inner layer of gastrula which develop, develop into endoderm so the endoderm actually developed from the germinal epithelium and after the development of this endoderm, the endoderm differentiate into archenteron. Actually, the archenteron have been developed from endoderm, and this archenteron, in further development, produce liver, pancreas, digestive tract, leading respiratory tract, respiratory system, bladder, thyroid, thymus, and also parathyroid. So, actually, these organs will never come from endoderm directly until the endoderm develop into archenteron so actually these organs are coming from archenteron and this archenteron uh, archenteron develop from endoderm and endoderm develop from germinal epithelium cells and now we will be talking about ectoderm the ectoderm generate the outer layer of the embryo and it form the it forms from the embryos epiblast so actually the embryos epiblast form the ectoderm and the ectoderm cover up the embryo actually the ectoderm form the outer layer of the embryo now the ectoderm develop into the somatic ectoderm neural crest and also neural tube which will further develop to form some organs which are actually regulating our body which are actually operating our body which are actually functioning our body so the ectoderm which have been originated from the epith germinal epithelium cell will differentiate into somatic ectoderm, neural crest and neural tube in their further development. And in case of the further development of somatic ectoderm, somatic ectoderm will produce epidermis, skin, olfactory organ, lens of eye, inner eye, mouth. In case of neural crest, the neural crest in their further development will produce branchial skeleton, ganglia, sensory nerve, adrenal medulla, and also the neural tube in case of their further development will produce brain, spinal cord, motor nerve, retina, optic nerve, posterior pituitary. So this all of these organs that are functioning that are regulating our body will never come from ectoderm directly until the ectoderm will develop into somatic ectoderm neural crest and neural tube so this is actually the medium through which these organs are coming now we will be talking about the mesoderm the mesoderm germ layer found in triploblastic animal and it is formed from embryos epiblast and the mesoderm is present in between ectoderm and endoderm and divided into some component which will give rise to the organ in our body. So actually the mesoderm came from the developmental process of germinal epithelium cell and in further development of mesoderm it will produce notochord, epimers, mesomer, hypomer and silo and in further development of notochord it will reduce the further development of epimer it will produce dermis vertebral column skeletal muscle in case of the further development of mesomer it will produce excretory system the further development of hypomere it will produce parietal peritoneum 
visceral peritoneum, mesentery, circulatory system and conus. In case of serum, it will form the body cavity. So actually the mesoderm is the only layer which is present in case of diploblastic animal like vertebrate. It will never be found in case of invertebrate like diploblast like the radial symmetrical animal like just like the nigeria so me, this mesoderm will never be found in diploblastic animal which are radially symmetrical it is actually found in bilaterally symmetrical animals like diploblastic animals thank you so much guys for watching this video till the end i hope you guys have enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video about the germ layer theory i am rajdeep acharya and this video is presented by era of geology thank you so much